Hello everyone, welcome to Bar Fashion's YouTube channel. My name is Eunice. So today we are going to be learning how to make a 360 flare. And it's going to be a double flare, meaning one will be longer than the other. So these are my fabrics I'll be using. I have my lace fabric, which will be for the shorter flare. And then my Ankara fabric. I have my lining fabric. And then I also have my crinoline that will give me the wavy effect for my 360 flare. So we'll keep this aside and then I'll show us the measurements we'll be using. I'll be using a waist circumference because I'll be attaching the peplum to my waist. So I'll be using a waist circumference of 34 inches. So this 34 inches, I'm going to divide it by 6.28 since I'm making a full circle, which is a 360 flare. So when you divide by 6.28, it gives you the radius of your, your 34 inches. It gives you the exact radius of your 34 inches plus your, plus your zip allowance of 1 inch. So having divided 34 by 6.28, I will have 5.4. So here is my 5.4, which is my radius, the radius of the circle. So now, having gotten the radius of my circle, I'll be looking for the length of my flare. The length of this flare, I'll be using a length of 8.5 inches. So 8.5 inches plus this five, and then plus one inch for my sewing allowance. So I'll be using one inch. When I'm referring to one inch, I'll use half inch to turn the hem of the peplum, and then half inch to join it to the bustier that I'll be sewing for this peplum. So everything I need, I'll be needing 9.5 plus 5.4, and that will give us that will give us 13.9. So which is basically 14 inches. So I'll be placing my fabric now on fold. Place my fabric, to place my fabric on fold, I'm looking for 14 inches. So I'm just going to place my tape from here. So can you see I have my 14 inches here? So I'm going to fold over like this. So I'll confirm. So I still have my 14 inches. So by folding over, of course, 14 plus 14, that's 28. So I'm going to fold over another 14 inches this way. Fold over like this also. And I have my second 14 inches. So it's not up to 14. So now I have my... 14 inches. So what this means is that whatever you get after adding the length of your peplum and the radius, now I've gotten 14. So that 14 times 2, that will give me 28. Then I'll fold my 28 into 2 and then also into 4. So everything I have here now is 14. Remember, it's folded into 4. So that means I have a perfect square of 28 inches. So can you see? So now take note, this is the folded, this part is not open, you can see this part is, I have a double fold here. So I'm going to go ahead and start marking the radius of our circle, and we have 5.4. So here, I'm going to place my tape from this apex, from this sharp part here, where all the four points meet. So I'll mark 5.4. So this is what I'll be using as my 5.4, this is 5.5 here. This is five and a half, right? So this is 5.4. So I'll mark my 5.4 here. Take note of the way I'm placing my tape. I'm placing it from the apex. So here we are. So now I'm going to mark the length of my peplum. So I'm looking for a peplum of 9.5 inches. So here is my 9.5 inches. So I'm marking my 9.5 inches round here. So now you can see I have my radius and I have the length of the peplum, which is 9.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and cut out the radius first. Okay, 
So here we are. So now I'm going to open this peplum. Can you see these are the two folded parts here? So I will pick one of them and slash it open because this will serve as my the part where I'll fix my zip. This will serve as the center back and this will serve as the front. I slashed it open. This is now my center back. So we'll go ahead and measure. Can you see? This is still on fold, right? You can see that. So can you see what I have here? I have 18.5. Remember that we're working with a waist circumference of 34 inches. So 34 inches, now that I have 18.5, because this is on fold, 18.5 times 18, 18.5 um, 18 plus 18.5, that will give me 37 inches. So you can see that it has given me a zip allowance of 1.5 on both sides. So when you are using this 360 and um, 6.28 formula, you don't need to add zip allowance. It just has a way of providing your zip allowance so long as you enter the exact measurement you have. So can you see that I have my complete, my full circle. It's a round, it's a complete 360 circle. Okay, so now having cut out my peplum, I'm going to place what I have here on my Ankara fabric and cut it out. So I'll be repeating the same thing for the second flare. Remember I said we're going to have two steps. Now I have a length of 9.5. I'm going to be making my second peplum three inches shorter. So 9.5 minus three, that will be 6.5. I'm going to be working with the same radius. I'll just cut it out and then I'll show us how what I'll be doing because this peplum will be an overlapped peplum. So this is the second peplum. I used, I repeated exactly the same thing. So there was no need to capture it. Can you see this is same 5.5, 5.5, the same thing. And then you can see here, I have my 6.5, which is the length of the peplum, the second peplum. So just go ahead and cut it out like this. So I'm cutting out the radius of the second. Okay, so I haven't done this, I'm going to keep this aside. And then I'll come here and slash the back, one, the center back open. So remember I said I want to have an overlap peplum. That I want the peplum to overlap on the other. So now from my center front here, I'm just going to come in by one inch. From by coming by one inch or 1.5. Let me do 1.5. So and then I'll create a curl shape to come meet it here. Okay, you see that? So I just cut out this part. So having done that, this is what I will have. So can you see? This is what I want my peplum to look like, to overlap on each other and then it gives the slight, slightly hard shape around here. So for this place, <coughs> you can come here and just trim off this part that looks a little sharp. So you just do this and blend it into the curve here. So this is what we have. So I'm just going to overlap it on each other. So meaning that this will not get to the zip allowance. It will not get to the zip allowance because when you overlap it, of course, it will make it shorter. So it can't get to the zip allowance. So let's confirm our measurement here. So can you see that I have exactly my 17 inches so it will not drop it will not go into the zip allowance because this is my line remember that i time my fold with half inch it will reduce it also so now i'm going to place exactly this on my ankara fabric and cut out the ankara i'll be using this lace also to place on the ankara so that's i'm going to be creating an illusion on top of the and the on top of the ankara that's this is what i mean this is what I mean. I want to have the lace fabric on top of my Ankara and the first uh, um, peplum is going to just be the Ankara. So I'll cut it out and show us. Okay, so I cut out my main fabric. I also slashed it open like I slashed my lining open. 
I did the same thing for my second peplum. So here we are. I marked the wrong side of my fabric. So this is the lace. Here is my lace fabric. Here you see, I'll be placing it on top of it like this. So this is for this side. And then this is for the other side. So for this lace fabric, if you have your fabric gum, you can use it to gum it. If you don't have it, you can top stitch it. You can just sew them together. That's, and then whenever you are sewing lace and ankara or even lace and lining, whatever it is, always sew from the lining side. Don't sew directly on your lace. It will always stretch out the lace. So don't sew directly on your lace. So I'm just going to be top stitching it. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then I'll sew this way, this way, this way. Okay, so I'll do it for the both of them. So now for the crinoline, this is what I'll be doing. Placing my crinoline at the hem of my lining. I'll be sewing the crinoline to the lining. So what I just need to do is to use my masking tape to cover this rough part. And then I'll place my crinoline this way half inch away from the hem. So I'm going to place it this way and sew it all the way to this end. I'll repeat the same thing for the bigger peplum and then I'll show us. So I'm sewn the crinoline to the hem of my lining. Can you see? So and I still I left the half inch I said I was going to leave. So now the next thing we'll be doing because here I have my crinoline. So this is the wrong side of my lining now. This is now the right side. Can see I also went ahead after sewing it to the hem here I top stitched this way so now I'll be placing the right side of my lining facing right side of the main fabric and then I'm going to sew on half inch all the way to the other end after sewing all the way to the other end I'll bring it to the ironing table press it and show us how to take care of the hem I'll repeat the same thing for the overlapped flap so for this one and then I'll show us this is what it looks like on the wrong side. Can you see? It's neatly turned. So you can see that my entire fabric is showing on the lining side. This is so that it doesn't protrude. So you want to also iron yours and shift it a little like that. So now the next thing I'll be doing is to get the center of my peplum, which is this. I've notched it already. So can you see how it is looking wavy? as it is, you can see. So now that I have my center here, I'm going to bring this one like this, and then I'll overlap it by like this. I'll go in by, from the center here, I'll go in by one inch. So here, this is my one inch. So I'll go in by one inch from here. So I'll pin it like this. To this end here. And then I'll bring this side too and I'll overlap it on top of it like this. So by the same one inch. So by the same one inch. So I can now take out the pin, the one under. And then pin it this way. So can you see what our peplum looks like? You see, this is a 360 flip. You see how it's looking already? It's standing really nice. So the crinoline is what is giving it this wavy look, you see. And then of course we cut our peplum properly. So that is why it's looking like this. So now I'll take this to my sewing machine and then I'll top stitch it. I'll sew them together. I'll take it to my sewing machine and then sew all three of them together and I'll show us what it looks like. So can you see? After sewing my lining, let's see what cake peplums together. This is what we have. Can you see? This is a 360 plan. You can see how nice it's looking. So let me open it this way and you see what we have. So it came out really, really nice. So this is me holding it like this. And see how beautiful 
it's looking. So even if I drop it on the table, you can still see that everything is coming out really well. Okay. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have learned something. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to put on the notification so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So just click on the notification button and the subscribe button also. Thank you. Bye.